Hey guys, what is up? Okay, we are back at it again with Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Now, I got a new setup here. I got my headphones on. I got a new microphone. Um, so let's see if I can get some better sound quality. Cause, uh, that first video is kind of hard to hear me. Um, this video is going to be mostly about some tips and tricks uh, to kind of get you through the days a little bit faster, a little more efficiently. Um, and yes, some of it does actually involve a little bit of money. Now, let's see here. When you first start up, you're going to always get um, some little notifications from Nintendo. Uh, this one's just saying, hey, you know, there's some new Christmas gear in stock. And then it forces you to actually check it out. So I'm actually looking through this real quick. Gathering some of my completed items. A harpsichord, a polka dot low table, and a blue table or a blue bench. Uh, so I can enter into some of those competitions. Um, but yeah, I'm checking out these items. It looks like they actually cost a lot of leaf tickets. Uh, so I didn't really opt into all those. Um, but this snow globe, pretty cheap. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed that up. I wanted to see what it looked like. And then I believe there's actually a cake here that I purchased as well. Um, <laughs> and I don't really like it. It's a little bit big for my taste. Uh, no pun intended. But yeah, check out this big festive cake. You can sweep that up too today for next to nothing. Now, the thing is, um, I don't know if you noticed, but there is a little helper. You can go ahead and... Um, Jarvis Landry is sending out a tweet. I just noticed that there. <laughs> uh, you can get yourself a little helper to follow you around while you are working on Pocket Camp. And uh, I do have that. So that's why whenever I start my builds, it it gets completed almost immediately. Now, Eugene here is my helper. And this is what the caretaker report looks like. And this is exactly why I'm willing to spend that $2 a month. Look at all those goodies. It's crazy. Every single time I log in, it's like this. He just gives me tons and tons of gifts. It's like uh, you're completing a gift for one of your uh, animals that visits your town. So it could be anything from fertilizer to flowers to bugs to fish to money. Um, he gives you all sorts of good stuff, and that helps you complete uh, your building assignments quicker. Now, one thing I always do is I always go to my map and see those little balloons that are floating around there. That's uh, what I'm picking up right there. And there's always some other really quick uh, things you should be doing. Right here, you should go over to the Nooks and get their fortune cookies. That's 500 bells. Um, that's another quick way to get your furniture list stocked up really fast. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be wasting a lot of time just saving up money and purchasing it and using your supplies that you really want to save up for... Um, the harder to get items so again 500 bells right there you do your little dance you eat your cookie um, and then you have a, a nice little item you know it's actually so much easier so what did I get here I got a bowl of ramen hey why not it'll pull your room together you know and uh, it's all about the bells and the whistles I, I've noticed that when I play this game my life kind of gets itemized a little bit faster. I, I start thinking about how to complete my room, bring it to balance. So little things like bowls of ramen and dirty dishes floating around are uh, not so appealing, right? So where are we going next? So you can go ahead and check around and see what you have available. That's Blathers Treasures. Um, I do those, um, but I'm not doing it today. So, okay, you go to your uh, your supplies, right? And I'm sending out shipments here. I'm actually maxing it out. Um, you got to do these. These these are the quick and easy things. Often you'll get a bunch of chocolates, like some chocolate gifts. Um, if you get one of those, I recommend spending a couple of those leaf tickets just to get the map. You want the map so you can increase your friends list. Um, but what I just did there, I actually completed all my islands, so I had to refresh it, and now I'm going back through and I'm sending out the cargo. So you send the cargo out, it's just like you're building furniture, you know, it takes anywhere between four minutes to a couple hours. Um, and then when it comes back, you're gonna get your chocolates. If you get chocolates every time, 
don't close the cargo. Keep going until you get that map. Then you get your animal. And then the animals will actually give you more supplies. You can send out your caretaker if you're willing to spend that $2 a month like I do. Um, and then that helps you just push through the game even faster. Um, the beauty about Animal Crossing is there's actually no real objective, you know? So you can kind of chill. Um, there are some exploits here I want to show you. Um, when you go to your flowers during this season, um, you're collecting those butterflies, right? And those are based on color. So right now I have all red color. Um, and I'm just collecting as many flowers as I can. Uh, then you go and visit your little jingle Rudolph here. He's going to give you your, your present, your toy, whatever it might be. In this case, it's candy cane. That's for completing your tasks. You, you max out based on the color. So you can see I already have my oranges maxed out. I'm working on my reds right now. And um, I'm mass selecting. See how I'm just mass selecting everything to harvest? That will speed up your time. So I collect as many of those butterflies as I can get, right? And then what I do is I mass select everything again. I harvest all my flowers. So, and that's how you complete these tasks. Uh, you can complete probably four or five tasks in one fellow swoop if you um, kind of mass select everything. You, uh, you collect all your butterflies. You harvest all your flowers. You go back, you replant all your flowers. You fertilize all your flowers. And then what you do is you churn and burn it. You turn it all back into your friends. So watch, I'm, I'm going to harvest. Gone, right? Got all my flowers. Replanting all with all that seed. Boom. Mass select. All. Boom. Okay. Now this game is all about sharing is caring. So what you do is you got to give back. You, you go to your friends list and you give them... All, see, I'm actually out of fertilizer, so I have to stop here. Um, I think I actually tried to uh, sell some flowers to gain some fertilizer, but I don't get very much out of it. Um, but what you do is sharing is caring. So you, you give all your presents to your real friends that come and visit you. Not the animals, but like the real users that play this game. And you're going to get even more gifts out of it. So there, there's only benefit to this. You're not going to lose out on the, uh, the gift counts and everything else. Um, so anyways, what I'm doing, I'm actually checking to see where the fertilizer is here. You can purchase this stuff. Flower food right there at the very bottom. Red geranium. So I traded in for it. I did not get enough. So, um, I gotta kind of slow down today. It, it only helps out like two flowers. It's not even a big deal. Um, so anyways, up in the top right, you're going to see that you can access your friends list. And you go there and you can send back all of those um, flowers and butterflies to your friends and that will actually help out their conquest as well. Here I'm going to try backing up the microphones for a second here. I think it's a little bit too loud. See if that's a little bit better there. Okay. So yeah, here we go. So you can actually see it. Um, for example, right there it says share. Click that. You scroll down, you see what's available. You give them as many as possible. Then you send out, send it out. Okay, boom. Now watch what happens. Share with crazy one. Here's your reward. And you get that friend powder. That friend powder is something very unique to sharing. And you can only get it this way. So I highly recommend you to uh, share with all your friends. Um, I always purchase everyone's items. That helps them out. Um, then I resell it for five times as much. Um, just because I can afford it. Um, and other people always end up buying my stuff when I sell it for like 6,000 bells anyway, so it's not even a big deal. So again, I'm sharing. Yup. Share with Aaron. Got my reward. More friend powder. That's what you're really looking for. You're looking for that friend powder. The, um, getting the seeds and everything is not a big deal because you're going to get that anyways while playing the game. And these events, you know, like the seasonal events on Animal Crossing come almost every month. It seems like there's something like, geez, in the past month I've seen like three events, all one for Halloween, then Thanksgiving, and then they did like the mushroom hunt, and now they're into like Christmas. So there's, yeah, it's like the fourth event in like last month and a half. Um, so they're always rolling through stuff. So it's in your best interest to just kind of like burn all that stuff out as fast as you can. You like complete as many tasks as you can, and then you can just keep moving forward. You're not trying to hold on to anything. You're trying to share it and give it away. It's almost like a race. Animal Crossing is kind of like a race. 
So, yeah, giving kudos is the thing I like doing the least. It just takes so long. My friends list is huge. It's getting bigger. It's probably not even that big, but honestly, this is probably the most time-consuming thing. It's so monotonous. It's mundane. It's boring. I hate doing it um, just because it takes so long. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm going through to buy everyone else's items. This is the grind. This is the grind, baby. This is what I do every single day when I first log in. Um, before I even think about, like, building furniture or redecorating, it's just there's certain check in the boxes you got to hit. So, you see up there, it says go to Lost Lore Creek. That's your daily task. Um, you get almost nothing out of it, but I, I still try to complete those because they take only a second. Um, this is before the real world kicks in and you got other stuff to be working on. So anyways, I want to check out the new stuff I just built. Um, so I don't know if you noticed, I did purchase uh, some cakes and a snow globe and I won some wallpaper. I just want to see what it looks like and I don't really like it, but I just want to see it. So I'm throwing up like the, the, uh, the was that like an ice cream cone or something? Frosted forest wall? <laughs> I hate it. It's like the gingerbread theme. Um, but hey, whatever. It's Animal Crossing, right? Um, that cake is way too big. It's like half the size of my body. You know, you're gonna get <laughs> you're gonna get a USO girl popping out of it singing happy birthday. It, it's so freaking huge. And even that um snow globe is way larger than life. I've never seen a snow globe that large ever. Um, but, hey, you know, like, this whole game is kind of blown out of proportion. Everything's kind of ridiculous and, and fun. Um, that's kind of half the fun in it, is you just, you get as much stuff as you can, you ram it into a small space, and you try to, <laughs> try to walk around. It, it's just supposed to be cute, right? Um, but anyways, that's what I got today. Let's see what else we got here. So I actually forgot the names of these places. It's supposed to go Lost Lore Creek. So there it is. Boom. Let's go. And this is where um, you're just completing your daily tasker. You're going to get one almost every single time you log in. Uh, so, yeah, you can see Eugene follow me around. That's my uh, partner in crime. All right. I remember this. So Bob is this new cat. Uh, this cat is... Um, this dude talks way too much. It, it drives me freaking crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, this this guy's ridiculous. So, yeah, I always try to give him as much chocolate as you can. And the, you'll see why. Because he goes from, like, level 0 to level 7 immediately just from giving him as much chocolate as I possibly can. Um, and then, eventually, they're going to stop asking for so many gifts. So, look. 1 to 7. Boom. And that's how you just level up as fast as humanly possible in this game. You just max everything out, and you hold on to what you can. Um, I, what I mean by that is, like, you don't eat the chocolate for yourself. You, you always give it away as a gift. So then he says, hey, yo, I maxed out at 7. We can go up an even higher level if you make me a mushroom tent. So I'm thinking about that, because I actually have another cat that wants me to do that, too. So anyways, uh, what's up with this guy? Uh, he's just talking about the weather, whatever, leveling up. I don't really even read in this game too much anymore. So yeah, I'm just giving him whatever he wants. He wants an apple, boom. Presents, bro. What we got here? Yeah, let's talk. What do you got? He wants to bug me with a bunch of puns. All right. Oh, he's punning it up. All right, what's he want? He wants a bug. So one thing I noticed about this is if you give him the most expensive item, you get better returns. So there's, like, all those bonus seeds and, like, like all the extra bells. Always give him whatever's worth the highest amount. That's one thing I always do. Um, I don't hold on to those for any reason. There's, there's really no benefit in it. Um, so what's he want now? He wants more stuff. I can already tell. Flowers, so I'm giving the gingerbreads because I don't really need them. That's why I harvest that stuff, you know? I harvest every single day, hold on to it, then I give away his presents. Um, he's still talking to me. This guy drives me crazy. Hey, you want to come to my campsite? It's always the last thing I do. Um, then he's going to ask you to to favor a bunch of furniture and build it for him. I actually have almost all this stuff except for that uh, capsule toy machine. Um, or at least it's in my agenda. Like, I, I have it on the favorited list to make. 
So anyways, I'm just gonna walk around real quick. I wanna check out what's going on. This dude right here with this Mekon Orange, I don't have him on my friends list. Um, so I'm gonna try to request him. Actually, I'm gonna go visit his town. Um, I'm gonna give him a shout out real quick. I, I don't know if any of you guys know this guy, um, but you should tag him in my video, say, hey, you know, Robert Price, he made a video and you're in it, Makaka. You're in his video. So anyways, I sent him a friend request here. He's probably going to accept it. And let's go visit his town. Let's see what uh, he looks like. Look at his cool shades. This, this kid is so cool. Like, everything uh, about this kid is cool. Like, and you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, when you ever you start building or start uh, making clothes and stuff, you fall into, like, a category. And this kid only wants cool things. Like, he wants the motorcycle, he wants the modern furniture, he wants the sharp-edged rock star sunglasses. All his friends have the rock star sunglasses on. Look at this. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. But I like how much space he has. It's pretty dope. Um, he's got a circus theme, too. You actually had to pay money for that. That, uh, that bouncy thing. Um, that's a tough tent to get. That tent right there, you gotta collect a lot of mushrooms for it. But look at his background. I mean, like, you notice it's just a reg regular basic background. And that's what I was talking about in that first video. I mean, you guys dump some serious money in this game to actually get all those Gucci upgrades. Um, because otherwise mine would look like that too. Um, it's kind of dirty. I mean, look, 30 dishes on the ground, a freaking pizza box open. I don't know what his deal is. I don't know who does that. Like, a thing of gasoline right in the middle of your camper. That, that just looks dangerous. I, I don't get it. Like, why would you do, do that? Um, it just seems unsafe. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for this guy. Uh, let's see what he has for his flowers, if I can help him out. Oh, yeah. Can't. I can't X-pollinate him, cross-pollinate. Uh, can't do that. The ground is dry. Can't help him out. Um, yeah, I just kind of got stopped here. Kind of bummed out. This music is a little bit too much sometimes. Um, I actually think about turning it down. Like, like when you're actually playing it, you don't think about it too much. But like when I'm watching back and like commentating, it's just. It's too much for me. I can't handle it. Anyways, I'm going back to my campsite now. <clears throat> so hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you do, smash the like button, subscribe, and uh, you can check me out on Twitter. I got a Twitter. I got a Facebook. I got an Instagram. Uh, like, follow me, comment. Uh, send, uh, send your friends in, you know. Add me up. Uh, comment up, and uh, we'll get to it. Happy gaming.